as of late, you've probably seen me ramping up my reviews on tactical fixed blades from Topps Knives. That's because I can't get enough. I'm finding so many blades that I'm crazy about that just give us so much to review and talk about. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Saw 02, the special assault weapon. Stick around. My enthusiasm for Topps Blades has been growing more and more over the last few months. I've got a brother of the blades, as I call him, up in Canada, and he and I talk all the time and share things back and forth. He's actually made some donations to the channel, and we've had a chance to just talk about a lot of Topps Blades and look at Topps Blades and review them, and it's just really got me going on their tactical product line, especially, because that's kind of more my wheelhouse is the self-defense blades, the tactical blades, you know, I like the bushcraft stuff, but this is kind of more of my thing. I was flipping through the Topps catalog the other night, just checking off all the blades I want like kids back in the day would have done in the Sears catalog. Well, mine is the Topps catalog. And one of the blades that I stumbled upon was this saw, the special assault weapon here. And I was just very attracted to its design. I'm kind of going through and finding ones that I love. And a lot of the blades that I like are within 100 to 200 bucks anyway, because I like the self-defense blades, the tactical fixed blades like this. And this one just really caught my attention for a number of reasons. Number one being its size and the way it carries. The designer of this knife is Jerry Van Cook, and he has some really, really great designs. I'm actually going to start by looking at the sheath because when you buy a Topps knife like this, you're gonna get a good sheath. And it's the clip that so often sells me because you can rotate this to carry this upright or scout carry horizontal in the front. And that's exactly what I like to do. As I'm standing here, it doesn't look like I'm wearing a knife, but I am and I can get to it very easily. What I have discovered for horizontal carry is that seven and a half inches is about as long as I can go with my particular frame, but I carry this very easily. Recently, I did a review on the Topps Cat. It is actually seven and a quarter total inches in length. This one's seven and a half, but I started noticing that that carried horizontally very well. And that got me looking at other blades in their product line that was very similar to this. And that's actually how I found this one. Another thing I love so much about these Topps knives is they got me away from those cold steel neck knives. I used to review a lot of those. I used to promote them very heavily because although they were neck knives, you could take zip ties and carry them horizontally. You could also get those C-clips, but they still don't carry as smooth as these. Not to mention the fact that they're about a quarter of a percent of the value. Everybody has different body types and knowing what you can carry horizontally is going to come down to your frame. For me, seven and a half is it. If I do anything longer than seven and a half, it's gonna stick out of my shirt. One of my favorite aspects about horizontal carries, I can access my blade with either hand, whether it's my right hand or whether it's pulling it with my left. It's one of my favorite carry positions is to carry things horizontally in my front. Now you carry this however works best for you. Obviously you can rotate the clip on the sheath to carry it upright. You can maybe stick it behind your back. You can maybe set it at an angle. The wonderful thing about these sheaths is that you can do whatever you want to with them, rotate it however you want to. I even wore mine on a pair of hiking shorts today with no belt. I just clipped it right on horizontally and went on about my business. So this thing is most definitely tactical, as they say from time to time. Uh, it's got these black G10 scales that look great. Great color scheme here. It's got this black traction coating over this 1095 steel. I gotta say from experience, if you're looking for a tactical fixed blade for self-defense that you can actually carry, that's comfortable, horizontal, this is worth it. You're gonna pay just a little over a hundred bucks for something like this. And you're gonna get something solid that you enjoy, that you can be proud of. You know, it's so easy to go out and buy so many of these budget blades off of Amazon and whatnot, trying to find what you're looking for. And if you can afford, you know, 30, 40 bucks for a blade, it's worth it just to hold off a couple of months and try to snag something like this. It's got a three and a half inch blade, which is not going to be heavily regulated. You got this serration here. So, I mean, you've got a fight knife. This is a little fighter right here. You're going to connect with it as soon as you get it in your hand. Jimping here on the back just feels great. I have a large glove size, so, you know, you kind of know what you're working with if you got like an XL or a double XL. But I still think you'll like the grip on this. I like how you can just get right on top of what you're doing here. Uh, you get in the ice pick. Just comfortable. Comfortable blade. You're going to get good, strong reinforcement for your hand in either position. 
it's a really great feeling when you get up in the morning and you're getting dressed and getting suited up for the day when you can put on a blade that you feel good about carrying one that you can even pull out from time to time and admire and look at but you're, you're wearing it and you don't even feel it or you sit down and you don't feel it you just don't feel it anywhere you go but yet you've got it there with you man that is an awesome feeling not only that but with this you have a solid piece of hardware that is built for the task i can't love the design of this anymore and as i mentioned i did review the cat it's also a tanto knife it's a little bit shorter if you're looking for something even more compact you might even prefer the handle on that one to this but i love the construction of this i actually prefer this one a little bit better and if you're new to tops these are usa made good looking comfortable easy to carry well built and hard hitting the top saw ladies and gentlemen what tops knives do you have in your collection? Why do you love them? Do you carry them every day? What do you like most about them? I'd love to hear your thoughts on tops knives. Thanks for watching. Take care.